What are the legal and conveyancing fees when purchasing a property in Arab or Australian in general? Uh, yep, yeah. our fees at Tiddy and Holland we do quote uh, 1925 uh, now that's um, inclusive of GST um, and that will um, provide a service of contract and vendor statement review, attending to the settlement, any itemised disbursements um, and any general advice as well in relation to the purchase of your property. What is a stamp duty and how does it work? Yeah, so stamp duty is a state imposed tax. Uh, on purchasing property. So any property that you do purchase, you potentially will pay stamp duty. Uh, it is determined by the purchase price. So sort of rule of thumb is the more you pay for a property, the higher the stamp duty. But it does really depend on circumstances as well. At what price range you need to pay or not to pay for stamp duty for the first home buyer? Well, if you qualify for first home buyer, you will actually be exempt from paying stamp duty. So as long as the property you're purchasing is under $600,000, um, as long as you are an Australian resident or um, Australian citizen, you're over 18 years of age, you are buying a residential property that you're planning on moving into, uh, you should be exempt of paying stamp duty at all, as long as it's under that $600,000. Any property over the six hundred thousand um, to seven hundred and fifty thousand, it's then sort of on a bit of a scale. So then you'll receive a, co a concession, not the exemption. What are the advisor fees and commission when buying a house? Yeah, so we don't charge any extra fees. Um, any general queries that you have uh, do just form part of our conveyancing service. So it's all just part of our uh, general fee. Are there other government fees and charges when purchasing a house other than the STEM duty? Yes, so there is also a land transfer uh, fee. Um, that again is determined on the purchase price of the property. Um, so even if you do get a first home buyer exemption, that is still payable. Uh, there's also the settlement fee. All of the settlements are electronic um, and the service that we use do charge a, a fee for that. Also, if you are obtaining a loan, there will be a mortgage registration fee payable. Cool. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for your time. Thank you. What do I need to do to get a home loan? So the process starts uh, by approaching a banker. They'll ask you to provide some information to confirm your current situation in relation to income, employment, general living circumstances and some other supporting documentation uh, to allow the bank to assess your inquiry for the home loan and make sure the product is right for you. What is pre-approved finance? For a home loan, pre-approval means you have met the initial criteria for the finance you need. Being pre-approved will typically come with, this, uh, with certain conditions uh, that are required to be met prior to getting formal approval for the home loan. How much of a deposit do I need to purchase a home? You could be eligible for a home loan with a, with a deposit, deposit as little as 5% of the purchase property amount. There are also various state and federal grants and other assistance for people purchasing their first home that borrowers may be eligible for. Can I purchase another home if I already have a mortgage? You can inquire with your banker to see if you would be eligible to take out an additional mortgage for another home. This is typically uh, for an investment property and depends on the equity you have built up in your current property and, you, and your ability to make uh, the additional payments. How are the loan established fees charged? Establishment, establishment fees for a home loan are generally charged at the time of settlement. These fees can be paid out of your savings or financed within the home loan depending on your particular circumstances.